Today I'm at the home of Nina and Charles Rivenberg. Their backyard is an attractive example of the landscape transitioning into winter. All throughout the garden, there are sculptures that help to add interesting character. This large ceramic frog is sitting in a pond of liriope with the red and green oxalis in the foreground. The yellow and black pansies add winter color. Though the weather is getting cooler, the garden still has a tropical feel. Elephant ear and green autumn fern have a warm feeling. The gold dust of Cuba and the large leaves of deeply lobed Japanese fancia seem to be making this rooster crow. There are splashes of color available, like this planting of late season Betty Boop Floribunda Rose. And this garden angel watches over the back trail of late season hosta, ajuga, coral begonia, and mondo grass. Leslie Ann Sasanqua Camellia provides good fall and winter color. The pink double flowers shine against an evergreen background. There are lots of textural contrasts. The dried flowers of Mississippi Medallion Winter, Limelight Hydrangea, and the foliage and red berries of Nandina add interest. This purple leaf Laura Petalum adds color in the cool season. The feathery dark pink flowers are a welcome sight. Remember, the cool season doesn't mean no color or interest in your landscape. I'm Gary Bachman for Southern Gardening.